What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel too and want to hit the subscribe button, that would help me out immensely. Going to start out today's video with a ton of energy. The past couple of weeks have been so good to me and I couldn't be any more grateful for just everything that I have manifested, the continuous love and support from you guys, and again, the continuous love and support I have in my personal life. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you so much. That's how good my past couple of weeks have been, and I hope life is treating you guys good as well. I know 2022 really hasn't been a great year for most people I know personally, and even for me, like back in January, broke my hand. Um, four and a half months later, we are like good to go. The bones and my fingers are all aligned now. Cool stuff, and I know Mercury is in a retrograde or something, if you believe in that astrology stuff. So things have been kind of crazy, it really have been, but I hope the rest of 2022 will treat all of you the best they possibly can be. Remember, you can achieve anything you put your mind to and you are a product of your own environment. Remember that, write it down, all that fun stuff. Today, don't know if it's going to be an exciting video, but just want to take this opportunity and be grateful that we are adding another car vehicle to the fleet. Super stoked. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's going to be a project car, to be honest. This is a brand new vehicle that I picked up and it's going to be sort of a daily, potentially a toy hauler if I can make some things happen this year with the trailer. But I've given you guys enough hints. Let's go ahead and check out the new vehicle. So the next four to six months might be a little bit overwhelming for me in terms of parking. My neighbors probably think I'm selling drugs because of all these cars I keep bringing into my house, but let me show you what I'm working with right now. So first we have my client's 350 Fair Lady Z. I'm currently keeping in storage for him until he comes back from work and picks it up. I still have the Skyline, it is currently at the shop. If you remember in the, the last video, I was driving and it just shut off and I couldn't get to crank back over, but I think it's just an ECU issue, we'll see. Still got the Prelude running great, been driving the Prelude a lot more lately ever since I did the rear subframe bar install. We have my roommates, call my brother Warren's 350Z, which again, he is trying to sell over this summer once he comes back from Japan in a couple of weeks, I believe we're gonna be adamant on trying to sell it. So if you're interested, car is located in Tucson, Arizona, clean title, 350Z HR, mechanically sound, and honestly, the body is in great shape. And again, mechanically sound. Then we have what I've been dealing the past couple of weeks, Warren's truck. This thing just eats gas, so I transition between the truck and the prelude. And now we have another 2022 Nissan Frontier but the SV package and I couldn't be any more grateful for the insurance company hooking me up. I don't know if I've ever posted a video about my first Frontier but got it brand new back in November of 2021. Drove it less than a thousand miles and then some college kid on his phone blew a red light and T-boned the shit out of the passenger side. It ended up deploying all the airbags and ended up bending the frame, which sucked, but I guess things happen for a reason. So I was the first in my town to own a 2022 Nissan Frontier and the first to have one totaled, which is funny, at least to my knowledge, but a huge shout out to the insurance company for getting me right the new Frontier. So my first 22 Frontier was the base model, and again, this one is the SV model. It is the, I believe, next package up. So the differences were base model had a black unpainted grille. This one is now gray. We have upgraded wheels and tires. The base models had um, powder coated donuts. The mirrors are painted, which is very nice. The door handles are painted, which 
it's another nice touch. Suspension between the SV and the base, I believe, are still the same. I didn't want to go with the Pro 4X model because that was expensive, and I do plan on buying a Toyota Chaser this year, so I'm gonna play my cards right. We finally have bed liner. This is a great touch. So now I can haul stuff in the back here without feeling bad for, let's say, scratching the paint. So the SV model, it does come with remote start, which is nice. The interior is still the same. Cloth seats only here in Arizona. It's just way too hot for leather and I personally don't like leather. But everything is good and the same in the interior between the SV and the base. Push to start, which is nice. I believe all the buttons are all, are all the same. I think the newest button we have is that one that's eliminated right now. Tow mode was there before. The screen is still the same. I got to set up on my Bluetooth. All right, cool. So we have the USB Type C. That's a good touch, and we have the USB normal here so that's great and i believe these buttons here are for the pro 4x model we got wheel locks this is nice overall yeah pretty much the same just a few touches here and there but i cannot wait to slowly modify the interior and exterior coming up next in the future we're going to do side steps and also, I need to buy the towing portion so I can buy a trailer this year, potentially, and tow my Skyline to shows. But incredibly happy with how this year is panning out. All right, let's get the, not first startup, but I guess the second startup. Nice and quiet. Love that for a daily. It's AC going, it's finally like 97 degrees now in Arizona. Yeah, again, so far so good. I loved my base model Frontier. I can only imagine how much more I'll love the SV package. So first initial drive, feeling good. Suspension feels the same. Actually, the truck feels a little bit more planted than what I first drove but again i haven't driven the original frontier since november late november and i've been driving warren's lifted bigger tire upgraded dodge ram the past two weeks oh dude i can't even like do that one-handed 360 turn but the truck feels good guys like hard work definitely pays off it was kind of shitty at first because, again, the accident happened in November, and it is November of 2021, and it is currently now the end of May 2022. So, November, December, January, March, April, May. It's been like six months since the accident, and it took about six months to get this all insurance thing situated. Holy moly. It sucks, but you know, I guess that's a life lesson. Maybe things happen for a reason. I truly believe that. And also, patience is a virtue. Good things come to those who wait and better things come to those who are patient. But just cruising around the neighborhood and truck feels good. I can't wait to break this thing in and start taking it on road trips that was one of my goals this year was to not essentially travel more, but definitely get out more. Maybe go to the mountains, maybe go to California. Definitely go to California. I'm trying to go to California in July to visit my tattoo artist, but we'll, we'll see how it will go. All right, so I really don't know what else I can go over in this video. It's not really a review on the 2022 Nissan Frontier SV Edition. It's just kind of 
an update from what happened back in 2021. But again, incredibly grateful for all the opportunities that have been presented towards me this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here because I need to figure out how I'm going to park all these cars. I think my front yard, I'm gonna go ahead and paver this so I can fit another two cars here because I have one more car coming in and I really don't have the room. And then my sister lives with me too, so it's gonna be fun. Again, everybody, thank you so very much for the continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel too and wanna hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch you next video. Take care.